All right, hustlers, what is up? This is your friend Rish coming back at you from Republic of Sellers. And in this video, we are going to dissect and understand once and for all, what does broad phrase and exact keyword match types mean? So keep watching. All right, folks, so the video that's going to be coming up next is actually part of a bigger video, which is the PPC fundamentals course. And if you want access to that course, hit me up on my Facebook page. The link will be down below and send me a message saying I want PPC and I will send you the link for that video. All right, let's get in the video right away. Let's just understand keyword match types. There are three keyword match types that you need to understand. And this is very important. Pay attention to this very closely. All right. So there are three types of keywords, keyword match types. The number one is broad, second is called phrase, and third is called exact, right? Actually, they're very literal in their definitions, but let's look at their examples. All right, so the broad match type would basically match all keywords in any order, including plurals, variations, and related keywords, all right? So for example, let's say you set uh, garlic press as your, as, your manual, as your manual ad keyword, and you decide to keep it as a broad match type, then all of these example keywords that you see over here will show your ad potentially if your bid is right. Okay, so when customer searches for stainless steel garlic press, your ad can show up. When customer searches for wooden garlic press, your ad can still show up. When customer searches for garlic crusher, your ad can still show up because Amazon system or the intelligent system behind Amazon would know that garlic crusher basically means something like garlic press and therefore they are related and therefore I think I should show the ad uh, to the customer, right? So that is what broad key, broad match type means. Now let's look at what phrase means, all right? So phrase contains the exact phrase or sequence of keywords, all right? This is, this is very good for getting relevant traffic to your listing. For example, if your keyword was stainless steel garlic press and your match type, match type was set to phrase, then your product would show up for all of these keywords. Stainless steel garlic press, garlic press, uh, stainless, <coughs> stainless steel garlic press, garlic press, steel garlic press. Okay, so basically if you see, uh, the first one is of course exactly what, what the keyword was. The second example here is steel garlic press, which is this part of the phrase. And the third example is basically garlic press. Okay. So all of these different kinds of keywords are actually, actually going to show your ad to the customer. Logically, even if you search for stainless, stainless press or, okay, or steel press or stainless garlic or steel garlic or stainless steel, your ads would still show up, right? But it might not get conversions because it might not make, make sense for the customer. So for example, if somebody searches for stainless steel, your ads might still show up to the customer. The customer can still see the garlic press that you're trying to sell, but obviously you, customers will not buy it. And therefore, eventually you will figure out that stainless steel needs to, stainless steel as an exact keyword needs to go into negative keywords so that you don't lose money for that keyword, all right? So yeah, I know I just jumped ahead a little bit, but I hope you understand that. All right. The third type of match type is called exact and that's what it exactly means. That's funny. Anyways, so it, it's what it exactly means. If you, if you set your keyword match type to exact for a keyword, for example, let's take your keyword. Let's say your keyword was wooden garlic press. Okay. And you set, set it to an exact match type, then your product would only show up when, you, when somebody searches for wooden garlic press and nothing else. Right. So those are the three match types that you really need to understand before you start your manual campaigns. All right, folks, I hope that was useful. I hope you understood it very, very carefully. And if you have any doubts or if you want to share an example and you want me to think about it, if it's a broad match, if it's a phrase match, if it's an exact match, drop them down below in the comments, drop your questions down below in the comments, whether it's PPC, whether it's about this video, whether it's about anything about Amazon, just drop your questions and I will answer them right away in the comments or in a future video. All right then, I will see you next time.